What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Roaring Moon and Great Tusk team that you guys can use to push high tier in that master tier. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. So like I said, if you're not subscribed, get on top of that. Get on top of that. But this team right here was made by my boy Clover Bells. Clover Bells, huge shout out to you for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel if you guys want to go check out his channel and go check out all the other rental teams he has over there. Also down in the description below, I got you guys with the Poke Pace. Poke Pace is going to be down there. If you guys want to check out this team, stats more in depth. But we got Talonflame to get us started here with today's team preview. Top left hand corner, we got Gale Wings and the Covert Cloak as its item. Rocking with Tailwind for speed control, Brave Bird for some nice big stab damage, Willow Wisp for burns, and Taunt to taunt opposing support mons. Great Tusk is going to be our second Pokemon, and I've been loving Great Tusk. Just super good all around, bulky, and great physical attacker. It's got Protosynthesis as its ability, Assault Vest as its item, Headlong Rush, Earthquake, Ice Spinner for coverage and to break terrain, and then you got Brick Break for stab and to break screen. So, really loving this Pokemon, really good at controlling the battle. Third Pokemon is going to be Golden Go. Do I have to say anything about this one? This one is a pretty straight up normal golden go. Life Orb, good as gold. Move set as normal. We're not going to go too in depth with that one. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Iron Bundle. And Iron Bundle is just a great special attacker and great for speed control too because it learns Icy Wind. It has Quirk Drive as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Protect, and Icy Wind for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Amoongus. And instead of using Brute Bonnet, we went with Amoongus for this team, considering Amoongus is just a better straight supporter than Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet is decently on the support side, but more so an attacker than anything. So Amoongus is just better to kind of control this team all around. This one has Regenerator as its ability, the Rocky Helmet as its item, Rage Powder, Spore, Palm Puff, and Clear Spot to counter those Don Dozo teams. Final Pokemon is probably going to be the MVP of this team. It is going to be Warring Moon. Protosynthesis, Booster Energy, cannot go wrong with that combo right there. That's Acrobatics, Breaking Swipe, Throat Chop, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Warring Moon Master Tier team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team with Pinchurchin, Mimikyu, Iron Hands, Hatterene, Torkoal, and the Brute Bonnet. So he has two Pokemon that can pop Trick Room. You got the Hatterene and you got the Mimikyu. So we're going to have to play to kind of counter that. And not going to lie, Golden Ghost is chilling here, looking like it could do some big damage across the board. So Golden Ghost, you're coming in here as the lead. Second Pokemon I want to bring in here for a lead could potentially be... Do I got Warm Moon for a lead? I feel like that one wouldn't be too bad because I can always thrash size if I need be or if I need to. Do I want to do that, or do I want to go in with more so like a Pokemon like Iron Bundle? We just need two Pokemon to hit, right? So I'm kind of leaning towards the Roaring Moon, right? The Roaring Moon's not bad. I don't mind the Roaring Moon. I'm going to go Roaring Moon. We're going to go Roaring Moon. We're going to go Golden Go. We're going to bring Great Tusk. And then last but not least, I'm thinking, or I could just Taunt. No, we're not going to go for the Taunts, considering uh, probably Mental Herb on one of the Pokemon. So instead of Talonflame, I think we need to go Deli Bird, or we rock out with... Amoongus. And I'm leaning towards Amoongus just in case they get off Trick Room. We can just hop into battle, start spawning, doing that left and right, and getting after the battle. But I'm loving it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Seriously, huge shout out to everybody who's been enjoying the content. I'm working with a uh, graphic designer right now. New logo is pretty much done. We're working on badges for memberships, getting all that ready to go, planning a Nuzlocke for the channel. I'm telling you guys, great things are coming. Great things are coming. So, cannot wait to bring you guys content. But they're going to end up going with Iron Hands and. Ooh, this is kind of tough for us. This is kind of tough for us because he gets a free fake out and Trick Room is going to get up on the board. So Trick Room's up on the board. We already... That's happening. So do I swap into you? Because up on the board, I might just go for a plot here. I could plot, right? Or I could Shadow Ball. I'm just going to straight up Shadow Ball this thing. And what do I do here? I could protect because obviously the fake out's going to come in this slot, right? Fast Lines is going to do nothing. I think we just swap you into Amoongus. Have the Rocky Helmet damage go onto that uh, Iron Hands. And then we get out a, a Trick Room Amoongus. And we just save our Wormoon, right? Probably your best bet. So I'm going to swap the Wormoon right here right now. Probably should have thought about the Fake Out. Maybe went into my Cobra Cloak Pokemon. Would have been our best bet, but it's all good. We're going to go into Amoongus. Fake Out's probably sliding over onto him. And then he's going to pop a Trick Room with the Mimikyu, correct? Makes the most sense. 
So Iron Hands is going to get the Thrasilization. It's a straight fire. No shot you go after my Goldigo. That would be an amazing play. You go after my Goldigo. Let's see how this one comes. Nope, he goes for the fake out. He just wants to change his typing. Thinking I was going for a... Uh, a what's it called? A make it rain. But now we're just dropping a straight Shadow Ball into this thing. Trying to get off as much damage as we can. It took Life Orb. It took Rocky Helmet. And now it took that damage right there. But lose some HP. Trick Room is out and about. So yeah, we saw the Trick Room coming from 55,000 miles away. And I think at this point, we could just protect the Golden Go. And then just push you to sleep, right? That's my play. That is my play. That is my play. We ends up on Mimikyu. He gonna go into Torkoal, maybe? It's gotta be Torx, right? Let me pin Churchin. The pin Churchin's gonna come out here, and that is great for two reasons. One, I can't spore them. And two, it pops Cork Drive. So that is terrible for us. So Cork Drive's out and about here. Hopefully he's going after my uh, Golden Gun, right? We're gonna hope that. We're definitely gonna hope that. Then we're gonna see how this next one plays here. Spore's gonna come out here. Spore is not allowed. Affected by the Electric Train. Sucks for us. Fire Punch does come into the Golden Gun slot. And I feel like we might just Terrasilize and Rage Powder here. Could do that. Could do that. Because from here, I can definitely just KO you, no problem. And I could Terrasilize mm, into Dark. Do I Terrasilize into Dark here? Or do I just Rage Powder have Amoongus go down? No, I can say screw this and have Rocky Helmet take out. Nah, nah, nah. We're just going to Shadow Ball. We're going to get rid of you. I'm just going to Rage Powder this shot. That's exactly, that's my play. That is my play. So we're going to Rage Powder the Hariyama shot or the Iron Hand shot, whatever you want to call it, and just straight up Shadow Ball. And we're just trying to sh trying to just waste out Trick Room at this point, right? I mean, Torkoal seems like it's going to be a problem in the back end. It does seem like it's going to be a problem. But I do have the Great Tusk who I could, uh, I could Terrasilize and just drop an EQ or a Headlong Rush. Whichever one I feel better. And Zing Zap's going to come in here. We're going to actually dodge both moves, which is great. And deal Rocky Helmet damage. So that's, that's big time for us. Fire Punch going to fly through here. He's going to take out my Amoongus, but it's all good. It is all good. We're going to Rage Powder that shot. We're going to be able to take out him. And then we're just going to be able to start going from there. So, okay. I think I have to bring out my... I think I have to bring out my Great Tusk at this point. Right? Great Tusk, I can EQ. I can protect here as well on Golden Go. Do a good bit. I can do a good bit here. But Shadow Ball is going to slide over, which is really good. Dope, dope, dope. Dude, that Rocky Helmet's doing some work. And we get off a huge chunk of damage onto Pinch Urchin. So I really do like that. So I'm going to save my Roar Moon for the back end. Definitely going to be a lot better for that. And I'm just going to bring in the Great Tusk right here, right now. The Great Tusk is going to come out here. If I had to guess, Torkoal is probably the Pokemon that we're going to see. No, it's going to be Hatterene. I do not mind that because I'm going to straight Terrasilize in the ground here. And I'm just going to straight up EQ. It's my best bet, right? I could obviously go for a Make It Rain. That could be good, but I'm just going to protect. Again, Trick and Turns are kind of on the lower side. Right? How many turns left for Trick and Two. And if I Terrasilize in a straight ground, those fairy moves will not be super effective onto me. So I'm with just popping a big time EQ with a Protect on the field. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we're wasting out these Trick and Turns really, really well. I thought that we would be struggling here once they popped the trick room, but we played it pretty good here. Rage Powder came out here. They did they did uh, counter us with the electric train for our sport, but again, we're playing super well. Playing super well, just playing it slow, thinking out of our moves. And that's something I feel like makes you a 10 times better of a player. If you sit down and you actually think out your moves and you think out all different situations that can happen. But Zing Zap's going to come in here. We're going to block it. Great protect by us. And then Hatterene's going to go for a Gleam, which is totally fine because we protect it. It's not going to KO my my Great Tusk, considering we have Assault Vest as well, soak it up a little bit more. And then EQ's going to fly here, and EQ's definitely going to take out Pinchurchin and do a good amount of damage over onto this Hatterene. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So no, he does not have Torkoal, right? No, he has Mimikyu. He has Mimikyu left, so I don't mind Mimikyu out on the field. Do not mind Mimikyu out on the field. I do not mind an EQ out on the field. Probably going to Shadow Sneak me. And I think I might just pop an EQ here. Actually, let's see speeds. Let me see your speeds real quick. Golden Go, you are 109 and you're 108. You're actually faster in this trick room. Um, I could hard swap here. This is save Golden Go. I feel like Golden Gold could be really nice for us. You know, I'm just going to throw a Shadow Ball. Do that and... Hmm. I really want to pop an EQ so bad. I mean, I can actually do this. 
No, but then Hatterene gets off that shot. All right, never mind. You know, we're just going to go for the straight Shadow Ball. I'm going to KO you with Shadow Ball, and I'm just going to Ice Spinner just to take out the terrain and on top of that, get rid of your uh, disguise. So that's my plan. We're going to do that. Hopefully, Mimikyu's not going for a Shadow Call into my Golden Go. I mean, I don't mind if Golden Go dies as long as it gets off the Shadow Ball first. But we get rid of the terrain. Shadow Ball does go... Wow, I could have just... Was Trickrim gone there? Or my or your Pokemon faster than mine? Hold up. Did Trickrim end last turn? I don't think it did. I thought I had two more turns. It did end. Wow, I could have just ended the game. I could have just ended the game. I was not paying attention. I could have just ended the game, but we're chilling here now. Now I just pop and make it rain. And I just pop our signature headlong rush. Base 120 ground move. But it lowers my defensive stats, but it's all good. We have Terrasization. It's GG. Battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Great Tusk doing work in match number one. Didn't even need to use our Roaring Moon. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a pretty strong team with four Paradox Pokemon and two support Pokemon with Murkrow. And last but not least, he is rocking out with the one and only Amoonga. So really strong team. Iron Moth, Fluttermane, Ancient Tusk, and Iron Hands. I feel like I got to go into Talonflame because Iron Hands seems like a Pokemon that they're going to lead. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rock out with Iron Hands here. This little Iron Hands lead. I could also go in the Golden Go here. Golden Go wouldn't be bad, and the reason I might go in the Golden Go would be because of uh we can just be ghost type and dodge fake outs if they're there. But another reason is after Tailwind, we can outspeed Fluttermane, we can outspeed a good bit and get off a good chunk of damage. So I'm really with that. Unless he's gonna go into Murkrow. Murkrow could be a little bit of a problem. It makes me want to go into Iron Bundle, but I can always protect the bundle. I could always protect the bundle if need be. So you know what? I am going to go into Bundle for a lead, or do I just go Warm Moon? I think Warm Moon could be fine. We have Protect on that. I'm all about Warm Moon for a lead here. Yeah, I'm going to rock out with the Warm Moon. We are going to bring in the Tusk, and I think we just go all Ancient Forms here, right? Yeah, let's do it. All all the Paradox Pokemon and Talonflame. That's the team for battle number two, but yo, our first match was awesome. Great little match one. Our opponent set up a Trick Room, and we came back from Trick Room. Usually, that's, that's tough to do. That's pretty tough to do. So opponents had Trick Room, we waste out turns perfectly, swapping at the right time, protecting at the right time, and ended up picking up that dub for you guys. So we're 1 0. We're 1 0. But let's see who our opponent ends up leading. It is going to be Iron Hands, and I'm cool with this. I'm just going to protect the Warm Moon. Um, right? Yeah, I definitely got to protect the Warm Moon here. Definitely got to protect the Warm Moon, and then just set up a Tailwind for the rest of our team. So Tailwind's going to come out and about. We're going to get that cooking, and then I'm just going to. Uh, I'm not going to try just yet. I'm just going to protect here. So protect is my call. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. What I might want to do next turn is either double down into did a flutter main. Do I want to double down a flutter main? I don't know. I don't know, but fake out goes in. That's fine. That's fine. That fake out goes in that slot. We have the covert cloak and no shot. No shot. No shot. Fake out goes first. Takes off for Gale Wings, and we just that's we just lose out there. That's hard. That's harsh. It's very harsh. That is very harsh. That is very, very harsh. Okay. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. I guess it's just free EQ time, right? And Terrasalize and maybe going to Acrobats. <sighs> do we get rid of Fluttermane? I feel like we have to get rid of Fluttermane. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Wow, that hurts. Wow, you're going to withdraw Fluttermane now. Who are you going to go into? Somebody that I can rip into. Who you going into? Murkrow comes out here. Okay. That's fine. I guess. But that hurts right there. That hurts. Fake out into Power Gem. And I had my Cobra Cloak so we wouldn't flinch either. I had my Cobra Cloak so we wouldn't flinch. But then he doubled down and get rid of my Talon Flame with a Power Gem? Water Mains rocking Power Gem. Acrobatics is going to fly here. I wish I went after the, uh, what's called at this point. Oh, and that did some big damage. Did you just get a free focus, Ash? Bro, get out of my face with that. Free focus, Ash. Just free sashed up here. EQ's doing about half. Another EQ might be able to KO and play rough on that, too. Wow, that's a little weird. But Tailwind's obviously going to come out here. We can eat up another play rough, which is good. I feel like we just EQ, and I might just protect this turn. I'm not going to protect. Uh, I'm just going to break and swipe. Let's see how this one pops out here. But Tailwind's going to fly here. I feel like we still outspeed. At least my Roaring Moon. 
Yeah, Roman Moon does outspeed. We go for the breaking swipe, which is nice, and we do get the attack drop. So we're probably gonna see a wild charge come out here or something, which my Roaring Moon should be able to eat up. I'm hoping Player Ruff will, will come out again. And no, he does go for the wild charge. And you do eat up. Wow, that did a that did a that did a toll onto us. That did a toll right there. EQ's gonna fly, and this match is not looking so hot for us. It's not looking so good. Once he got rid of my tailwind user, it was tough, and he brought up Murkrow. Popped his tailwind from there. And now he's gonna go right back into Fluttermane. And I believe Fluttermane can pretty much just clean up a lot of this battle, right? Yeah, I, I, I think we're in such a tough position here. Where Fluttermane comes out here and just cleans this one up. So yeah, match number two not looking so hot for us. And you bring out the Great Tusk as well. Great Tusk come out here. I don't like this. I do not like this. And <laughs> I'm going to go for, uh, I guess, an EQ. They're free EQs. And I'll go for an Acrobatics into this thing. But they're going to end up Terrasalizing probably Fluttermane. No, staying in here and KO me. Yeah, like I said, Fluttermane's going to be the problem. And it's over with. It is over with just because of the first call. That's how important turns one, one are in this game, guys. But there it was. Turn one, legit. Once he took out my Talonflame and read that Protect, it was GG's. Had the upper hand all throughout that, and now I only have one Pokemon left. And who is it? It's 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 my Bundle. And Bundle isn't doing much here. Actually, Bundle might be able to outspeed Tusk, right? Does Bundle outspeed Tusk? Is there a shot? Let's just go for it. We're going to definitely play this one out. But I think Fluttermane Terrasalizes, right? He hasn't used Terrasalization yet. No, no Terrasalization comes out here. You outspeed me, and wow, dude, Fluttermane hits so hard for no reason. For no reason. Tusk probably outspeeds me. Yeah, and the close combat's going to drop. It's stabbed. We're, we're on one HP anyway. GG's. Second battle goes for our opponent. You guys know the deal. We're hopping into that third and final battle, and we are guaranteeing you guys a winning record for today's video. Third and final match coming at you guys, and this is my first time seeing Annihilate in Series 2. So it's going to be pretty cool to see how good he is still in Series 2. But I feel like there is just a lot of Pokemon that can counter up on him and just rip right through him. But like I said, third and final battle coming at you guys. We're sitting 1-1. One one. I'm telling you guys, we're winning this battle and we're grabbing you guys a winning record. But they got the Talonflame, they got the Roar Moon, the Torkoal, which I don't really see them bringing the Torkoal. Then they have Fluttermane, Annihilate, and Golden Go. So who am I leading here? I feel like if they go Talonflame, we got to go Talonflame, correct? Makes the most sense. So I'm going to go Talonflame, and I am going to rock into Roaring Moon. It just seems like a play, right? Roaring Moon, Talonflame, or I could go Deli Bird. Deli Bird's not bad here either. Deli Deli Bird. Do I go Deli Deli as a lead? No, I really like Roaring Moon. I really do like Roaring Moon, especially up against a lot of these Pokemon. So Roaring Moon is going to be my lead. I am going to also bring in the Iron Bundle. Really good in, up against a lot of these Pokemon. And then last but not least, do I go in with Tusky? Or Pokemon more so like Golden Go? Hmm. I feel like Tusk could be good. Even though Golden Go could be good. But Tusk, we get a little bit more value out of. Super effective onto a few of those guys. Has Ice Spinner for the Roaring Moon. And Brick Break for the Roaring Moon. Would do more damage because it's Stab. But yeah, great Tusk. Definitely the play call. Definitely the play call. But I'm looking to rip with Roaring Moon here. I think like Roaring Moon is top tier in Series 2, but it's so, like, predictable because you just you just worry about the Roaring Moon all the time, you know? So every time you're going up against Roaring Moon, you're like, let me bring in something to counter it. But he's going to end up leading the Golden Go and the Talon Flame. And do I go Tailwind here? Yeah, I got it, right? I got to go Tailwind, and I got to Terrasalize. And do I have Terrasalize here? Do I have to Terrasalize this is a real question? I don't have to. I definitely don't have to. I could just go straight into a throw chop in this slot. Or I could go after their own talent thing. No way Golden Go protects here, right? Yeah, okay, cool. The throw chop was definitely the, the great call. Are you going for a Tailwind as well? Yeah, we're going to see Tailwind for Tailwind. Until they find my Roar Moon outspeeds us. And as long as this Pokemon's not Sash, I'm pretty sure we just pick up the KO until we right? Yeah, cool. I'll take it. Free KO. Free KO. <laughs> That's why I was sitting there. I didn't want to overthink that turn and not pop that throw chop in that slot. As you guys know, if you guys are ever playing, overthinking sometimes hurts you. Sometimes it hurts you. But they're going to throw out Fluttermane. And Fluttermane is definitely a little scary. So this is when I Terrasalize and double down straight into you. Right? This is when I Terrasalize and I get right after the Fluttermane. Fluttermane is a problem. Not trying to deal with it. Let's rip into it. So he's going to end up withdrawing town. I'm fine with that. I am fine with you withdrawing town from here. And bringing out the Torkoal. 
Torkoal comes out here, I'm fine with going up against Torkoal. It's not a problem. It's not a problem for me. Pop the Protosynthesis. Special attack is heightened. I am terrestrializing for that fairy move. I'm not dealing with the fairy move. You're going to terrestrialize as well. You going into straight fairy? I feel like this is straight fairy Terra. Yes, straight fairy Terra. I swear, if my War Moon dies, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. My War Moon cannot die this. No shot. Maybe Talent Flame, but War Moon. Come on, War Moon. I need you here. I need you here. Let's see how this one plays out here. We actually outspeed you. We're chipping up some nice damage. And I am doubling down into this thing. Here's a Gleam. Talent Flame probably dies here, correct? Nobody dies. Awesome. Awesome. I knew it was not very effective, but... It was just scary. It was just scary. But there goes the acrobatics. Big time damage. We're picking up the KO on that thing. And I just wanted to get rid of that. So I do have the Great Tusk. Don't I have the Great Tusk in the back end? I'm not worried about Torgal then. Not even worried about Torgal. And then he's going to throw back out his Talon Flame and get rid of it. So from here, you actually outspeed and you can do some big damage onto me. I'm just going to go into Brave Bird. And I still have what's called as well. The bundle. So let's get Brave Bird that and I'm gonna just protect this thing this turn. I feel like I just had to double down into you, right? Or I get some damage off on Torkoal. I'm not worried about the Torkoal. I'm not worried about Torkoal. Talent Flame protects. Wow. Reach down. Now I'm a little worried. Now I'm actually really worried. Now I'm actually really, really worried. What's my play here now? I die. Okay, War Moon dodge it. That actually helped me out a little bit. That helped me out a little bit. War Moon with the dodge. My play here is to just start slowing down these Pokemon with Deli Bird and just have Great Tusk come in here and clean up the battle, correct? Correct. It makes the most sense. We just icy when these Pokemon down. And then go after Talonflame. The Talonflame should be fastest on the field, right? Or Iron does Iron Bundle outspeed? Still learning speeds, but that was a great protect from our opponent. <laughs> really shook me up. Really shook me up. Let's see what he ends up doing. No way you go for a double protect and land it. Cool. Icy Wind comes out here first. Alright, that's GG's then. That is GG's. Acrobat's coming out here with Terrasalization. No item. It's game set match. It is game set and match because this is KO with no problem. Again, Torkoal, I'm not worried about because once I get out my Great Tusk, we know we outspeed. We can hit it with a base 120 headlong rush, which is super effective and stab. It's just game set match. The Roar Moon's going to drop out here. Iron Bundle soaks pretty well. Doesn't even bring it down to Focus Ash. And like I said, it is over. It is over. He's probably sitting here like, yo, I have a shot at winning this battle. I definitely have a shot at winning this battle. I have Torkoal on the field. Nah, yo, I'm bringing out the boy. The GOAT. The GOAT. Let's go. Ancient Tusk coming out here. Or Great Tusk. I can always call it Ancient Tusk. But it's here. And Protosynthesis is out here. So it's just over with. I'm going to try to land a Hydro Pump. But I'm going for that Headlong Rush. Look at this move. Look at this move. Base 120. It's basically a ground close combat. Battle was canceled. He wasn't even dealing with it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, guaranteeing you guys a win there. And we grabbed ourselves a winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 2-1 winning record showcasing this team to its fullest potential. I think we used every single Pokemon on this team, correct? I think we did. Might be wrong. Sometimes I forget. It's all good, though. But Great Tusk and Roar Moon definitely carry this team. Talonflame was absolutely amazing on the sports side, bringing us speed, all that good stuff, and throwing some burns in the battles as well. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.